Hey everybody. So today we're going to be talking about email management because I had seen this question a a few times as far as people don't really know like what exactly is email management what does it consist of so for me um what I do for my clients is I go in and I look at um like I see what are the most emails that they receive is it like client requests is it um like it depends on the client so um I would go in first and see what is the majority of the emails that they're being sent and um and then I will make folders for those emails. So, excuse me, for um for one of my clients, um, hey Aisha, hey Dion. So for one of my clients, she of course I tell you guys about the website develop um design and develop developer client, whatever. So we have a lot of um um different folders as far as our projects go, so we can um have those organized um, with the different projects name and then also we have um, different tasks as far as who the tasks will be sent off to so we have the team and then we have her tasks so um, those are the two and then also I have a folder in her email too so I set up the different folders as far as how we're gonna organize it because um, how I do it is my I like to have the inbox on zero at all times so um, she can go in her folder and see what tasks she needs to do, who she needs to respond to. And it, we've even, um, like, sectioned it off, like, like, I don't know what it's called, like, divided it up so much as far as we have a complete folder, we have a needs response folder, we have a needs to be scheduled folder. Um, and so we move different the emails over, and then the, the person knows, like, mine is the to be scheduled folder, so I go in there and I check that quite often. And then um, hers is um, her task folder, so she checks that quite less often. But even in the inbox is, um, I move those around. And then I can put it in her uh, folders as far as our tasks and then which email she needs to respond to. And then I, I can respond to the other ones. And then um, it's, it's pretty much the same for all my clients. I have I figure out a kind of like a plan or um, a folder system that works best for the clients. And then um, we, move the ta we move the emails um, to those folders. And my clients know their folders that they are check at least once a day. But most of the time they're in there all the time like me. Um, but they go in those folders and they check and then they respond. And then uh, um, it, that's pretty much all I do is I set up a system for them that um and then I handle a lot of the emails because one of my clients she has a lot of templates that she's already created so I know if I see this certain email I can just go ahead and shoot a quick response to it and then um it's done and and if it's something that really needs her voice or her hands on it then I put it in her folder and she checks it that way but um yeah, that's what we do. But a lot of it is too is it goes into like uh, scheduling appointments. So um, I do that a lot for my clients in their emails too. I'll schedule it the appointment and um, and then let them know when their um, appointment is, and then that's it. So email management is really just sending and uh, replying to emails, and then figuring out a folder system that's best for your client. Um, and that's what I really do for my clients for email management. So it's not that hard. Anybody can do it. If you, um, and then how you would get access to their email is either something through like some kind of application like Passpack, um, where they can share their um, credentials with you. But it's not really their password. It's um, they will share it on their end. Like they'll log in and share that information on their end. But the Passpack or the actual application will generate a um, unique password to you. So when you you can log into their email too. And then if they stop sharing it, then that password won't work anymore, and then you won't be you won't have access to their account. So that's what I do for email management. And let me know if you have any kind of questions. But that's pretty much it for today. What's today? Tuesday? Yep. Well, I will see you guys tomorrow on Wednesday. Of course, I'm in the group. If you have any kind of questions or want to send me a message, do that. But I hope you have a happy Tuesday, and I will see you on tomorrow.